The headlines of the day. BJP's claim of double-engine government turns out to be felled in gene, LHS Congress. Manipur reports 158 new COVID-19 infections, two new dates. State continues to log higher positivity rate as 7.1% TPR reported in last 24 hours. As state continues to witness steep rise of COVID-19 infections, government announces new rules on public gatherings. Gan Ngai biggest festival of Zilianrong community begins. And Kachai Lehman farmers earning more than rupees 6 lakh as profit annually with assistance from MoMA. COVID-19 naging up hook naba, miyam na sapo na toy na kut hambiu. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Marks ning tina, niyom chum na upiu. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi, mi amaga, mi amaga di marakta, fit taruk lap na pambiu. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello, very good evening and you are watching ISTV English News. I am Priya Lakshmi Langpok Lakpam. Now the news in detail. Spokesperson of MPCC and MLA K. Mekhachandra maintained that despite the BJP government claiming itself as a double-engine government which is thriving, the double-engine turns out to be a felt one. He also said Congress will definitely return to power and form government in the state. He was speaking to media persons at a press meet held at Congress Bhavan today. Speaking further, MLA K. Mekhachandra said a simple example of the double-engine being a felt one was the report of COVID-19 vaccine coverage issued before the election court of conduct was enforced where the state had only achieved 67 percent for first dose and 43 percent for second dose recalling the assurance given by the minister of commerce and industries on july 20 2017 that employment opportunities will be provided to 7.5 lakh people within five years to make the government more stable he asked how many people were given jobs as the government is about to complete five years of its rule he also said the same assurance was reaffirmed by the Chief Minister on October 6, 2017. He also called the Minister of Commerce and Industries as the biggest liar as Minister could not fulfill his assurance. Congress party also demanded the government to disclose the status on the revival of Loitang Kuno spinning mill, which the government had announced in the House. He aided. <laughs> The Makta Tongan Tongan Ba Development Kaya Paikale. Promise Mayam Tau Giva Mayam Singdu Paikale Haidana Hai Gibado MPCC and on my on my side stating that the double engine government is felt now. False promises Mayam Mama Pikibado Nasidi Karamba Baraki State Singa Natraka Karamba Pitibi Laiwak Singa Asugam the open the Parzamiam the Lakopa Mibulana Tazahanba, Larry even Harul Kayabu, Adigi, Sumaidona, Tamai Sele, Harakandida, Tasin Tasena, Publiki, Adigi, officially declaration Tobuse, Nasi D, Karikari Tabu Pigre, Aduna, Quaidigi, State Residencia, even in politi, politiki, political itihasta, Quaidigi Masin Tibas, Quaidigi Masin Tiba Ministers, a commerce and industry department, Hibas Hyman Rutolo. He also said it was unfortunate that the clarification met by the Works Minister on Works Department sounds very personal and his words were rather immature and expression on the individual level on such matter will lead to consequences. Congress claim was based on records procured from top officials of the department, he said. Department, what other people are doing? Korean years, 
21-22 ki kare ni yar zhe paisa lai gira lai roi gira sahi ama nil zhe hai bisi ya nindra hong bini sahi ama ki wak program zhe before code of conduct ta thabak pi hong tri hai bisi chumma bane who kel cancel my words tex me am na pira ka tulop sari bini officers in kadao lai ministers kadao lai hai bini this is my demand kare ni yar ki thabak pi hong tri hai bisi pi hai ki hai ri bro masana hai zari ba statement to the yao ri bdo aduna adun kak zari आई बी एस कंस्ट्रक्शन श्री विक्रम की मा की एजेंसी एयरपोर्ट लाइन की रिपेयरिंग तौर ना इथोखी केन्द्र एम एल ए हूफू इगदब रिपेयरिंग इब मीसेप्रोपेट तौर करी बेसे इंटरेस्ट नो वाट इज द बेसे इंटरेस्ट Manipur's daily COVID-19 cases have surged as 158 new infections were reported along with 7.1 test positivity rate in the last 24 hours. On the other hand, COVID-19 claimed two more lives in the same span. The state's death tally reached 2014 while cumulative confirmed cases of COVID-19 infections climbed to 1,26,979. Meanwhile 37 persons were discharged in the same span of time out of the new cases reported in the last 24 hours 38 from Imphal East 49 from Imphal West 6 from Thobal 4 from Bishnupur 4 from Kakching 3 from Kangpopi 1 from Tengnopal 4 from Senapati 2 from Ukrul 5 from Chandil and 39 from Churachandpur State's recovery rate dropped to 97.58%. State's active cases climbed to 1,063 and 1,23,902 people have recuperated from the infection so far. In view of the rapid increase in COVID cases and Omicron cases in the state, new restriction order for gathering of people has been issued today. According to an order notified by Chairman and Chief Secretary, State Executive Committee Dr. Rajesh Kumar stated that in case of closed space, maximum of 50 persons or half of the capacity will only be allowed, while in open spaces, maximum 200 persons will be allowed. Wearing of face masks in public places, gatherings and crowded areas should be strictly enforced and violators will be penalized promptly under relevant rules. The order also mentioned that wearing of face masks in public places, gatherings and crowded areas is a critical covid appropriate behavior and it should be strictly enforced and violators will be penalized promptly under relevant rules. It further directed the district magistrate and district SP to strictly enforce the restrictions. Gangai the biggest annual post harvest festival of the Zilianrong community has commenced from today as the celebration took off with traditional gaiti and fava the main celebration was organized by state level celebration committee at iboyai masumanglila sanglin palace compound union minister of state external affairs and education dr r k ranjan President of BJP ST Morcha Lanzakai Kamai Vice Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture Professor Paunam Gunindro and people from Zilianrong community too took part in the celebration Speaking on the occasion Dr RK Ranjan expressed on the need of all people from the community coming together and organizing a state level celebration rather than holding the festival at different places He also highlighted the mutual coexistence and brotherhood between the Maitei and the Kabui which has been there since time immemorial. He hoped that Gangai festival brings more peace and harmony among the different communities residing in the state. Jati si kupu si kapati, jati si kupu pe si kupu no 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 kapati. Kali ki ayin si papan si bahagi do no. स्टेट लेवल कमिटी से सिलेबस तक पूर्ण पुछल का मकुम भावा गलाए दृष्टिगत हो प्रगति सूत्र मकी तिन का और का सूत्र का हरा बनी है से बंदे सभी की ओर तो वही से मकुम भावा पंतों को नमो का अंदर है कोई से मशक है तो साथ ये वो बोली है जैसे कोई करना बयान को पूर्ण तो होने में कल आज जो आदम मम्मी सरम Spokesperson of the celebration committee said by holding such celebration the committee aimed at ensuring the future generations learn about the custom and culture lived by ancestors of Zilianrong community and the festival also plays a vital role in maintaining harmony and love among the different communities my lap mai the traditional way of making fire ho hoing victory wa cry and zopan kaimi a ritual seeking the blessing of god invoking the blessings of the almighty mark the festival celebration 
Mumbai pun ada apa, ini nak ke apa, jadi show jadi, ini culture, ini lain lah show macam ni, macam mana ni, macam apa ni, macam mana macam ni, lihat tau betul nanti nak, macam apa ni, betul tau betul ni, ada apa ni, macam mana ni, promote show tau betul ni, ada apa promote, promote get show tau betul ni, hari ni, apa ni macam apa ni. Aku ini kacang kaya, aku ini motor jeleron yang jadi na tariba, kacang kaya aku ini motor masih di festival sih, kumai sih masih, tapi pun ini kat mana sih mana pakai tak? Farmers of Kachai Nukrul district with assistance of MoMA have been successfully cultivating and producing Kachai layman and uh, even earning profits of more than 6 lakh annually. The farmers began growing organic lemons back in 2015-16 under the directives and support of MoMA and MIDH. Mention may be mad that the Kachai layman has been accorded GI tech. Speaking to ISTV News Project Director MIDH and MoMA, K. Dev Datta said that in the past years there have been a lot of complaints as the production decreased. Keeping this in mind, ICAR, KVK, Central Agriculture University and Horticulture Department has conducted various programs on modern plantation and introduced schemes under MIDA, MIDH. Mission Organic and uh, through hand-holding support and improved technologies. This has prompted the farmers to yield a big bumper harvest this year. K. Dev Datta further stated that the organic farming was introduced to 200 farmers. Back in 2019 Lemon Festival, the farmers were able to produce an estimation of around 150 metric tons of lemon, he recalled. However, with the improved technologies, the produce is expected to yield more than 300 metric tons this year. He stated that this will bring a big wave of change. He further urged other villages to learn from the developing village of Kachai, their dedication and hard work. He believed that this will help to promote the exotic fruits of Manipur, which can be exported to other parts of the country and has the potential to improve economic condition of the state. A local farmer, while speaking to ISTV News, stated that he was able to earn about rupees 3 lakh as profit in the past year. However, he is expecting to earn more than 6 lakh profit this year. The farmer was stating the need for power tiller machines has sought the assistance from the government. Because farmers here, too na chow khat khange, pachhe na ban khange hai rabdi. Uji kuchh se ek hoye se, aiy se power tiller kumbe se, adum adushu targar hoye re uji ki, uji teri same se isana CCP torture yau de power tiller yau rabdi. Hen na hen na buthok se bang hamgani hai na aiy department da hai nige. Imphalis police commando conducted such operations at Faknung Awang and Mayai Lekai area today. Under the supervision of Imphalis District SP, a team led by additional SP operations and DSP commando conducted verification in the two localities including 30 bailouts. No arrest was made during the operation. A combined team of OC Chirachanpur Police, NAB Chirachanpur Divisional Forest Personnel and newly recruited IRB destroyed poppy crops grown at Taiseng Hill near Patlan Kul under Chirachanpur District. The nine acres of poppy fill which would have yielded around 63 lakh was destroyed in the drive. The 15th death anniversary of Luching Puril Ching Subam Akaba was held today. The memorial event was organized by Wakalon Manaba Apun Bakangli Park at Wakalai Maching. The attendees paid tribute to the statue of the leader by lighting candles. The observance was also held at Rukmahal Theatre, MP of Rajya Savale Semba Sanajauba, President of WAMAM Naukhamba, Chief Patron of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, Nongdalen Khomba, Lifetime Secretary of Manipur, State Sumangnila Council, Hemanta, TM Rajen Ayangba and Elangbam Soviet crest a function as dignitaries. Addressing the function, MP Lai Semba Sanajauba remembered Chingsuba Makaba as a pioneer who had advocated for development of language and culture of the lane and also also to bridge the bond between the hill and the valley people. He also expressed the need of the people to translate the leader's vision into action rather than simply organizing ceremony and offering floral tributes. <laughs> Jadi kasih lelaki saya jadi high level saya, semua orang, semua orang saya ikut main bola, 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 main
As part of preventive measures to tackle COVID virus, Tagdo community and JCI organized COVID vaccination drive and vaccinated 15 to 18 age group around Marwari Dharamsala at Thangal Bazar. Amuko extended greetings on the occasion of Gangai to the Kabui Brethren. Amuko, in its greetings, stated that the young generation should know the true meaning of Gangai Festival. Amuko also urged the public to seek blessings together from God on the occasion of Gangai. SSD 1 MSPCL Deputy General Manager in a press release informed that due to the replacement work of 33 kV Common Line Bay Insulator at Kongba substation, the power supply of the following substation feeders 11 kV Common Feeder, Wangkai 1 Feeder, Yaripok Feeder, Irilbung Water Supply, 11 kV Thambal Kong, 33 kV Kuman Lam Park, and 33 kV Sangai Part will be set down from 9 am till 3 pm. 69 Battalion CRPF organized a program for distribution of solar lamp and 5 watt LED at New Kaithil Manbi to the poor and needy persons under Civic Action Program 2021-22 today. 69 Battalion CRPF Commandant, CRPF Officers, Jawans and New Kaithil Manbi villages attended the program. The district election officer Senapati had organized district level quiz competition for higher secondary school children at Mount Everest College Auditorium Senapati. The event was reportedly held under SVEEP campaign on ballot battle, quiz competition on election and electoral process. Briefing media persons Nongthombam Suran, SDO, BDO, Velong, who is also the nodal officer, Senapati District stated that the competition was held as part of SVEEP campaign under the guidance of the district election officer, Senapati District. The competition is being organized in every district of the state, including other parts of India. The main purpose of the event was to enhance knowledge about the election process, particularly to the youth who are known as the pillar of the nation. The SVEEP campaign also aimed at the increasing at, at to increasing the participation of people in the electoral process as well as to make them understand the do's and don'ts which are very much necessary to ensure a free and fair election. Winners of the competition were also presented with case prize. Army Day was celebrated with great joy and happiness at 44 Assam Rifles Camp Complex, Tamenglong. The Army Day was organized by 44 Assam Rifles under the aegis of 22 Sector Assam Rifles IGAR East. The veterans and Vinaris from Tamenglong joined the commandant and all ranks in the celebrations and paying their tribute to the valiant heroes of Indian Army. Major K. Kamai retired, senior most veteran from the town along with Secretary ESM cut the cake and reciprocated the best wishes on behalf of veterans. A befitting raid laying ceremony was organized to salute the valiant soldiers who sacrificed their lives to protect the country and its citizens. Speaking on the occasion, 44 Assam Rifles Commandant Colonel Pradeep Kumar extended his warm greetings and best wishes to all people from the Ziliangong region on the auspicious and joyous occasion of Gangai Festival. On this occasion, the nation salutes the invisible greed, courage, valor and dedication of all the soldiers of the country, he said. He also called upon all citizens for constructive contribution towards nation building. A stall on local crafts of the area depicting the rich heritage of the area was also on display for the veterans. ISTV News appeals to the public to wear face masks, follow social distancing norms and wash hands frequently as advised by the experts to protect from COVID-19. ISTV News also urges the public to get vaccinated in order to protect oneself and others from COVID-19. Well, before we end this bulletin, the headlines once again. BJP's claim of double engine government turns out to be felt in Gene LH's Congress.
Manipur reports 158 new COVID-19 infections, two new dates. State continues to log higher positivity rate as 7.1% TPR reported in last 24 hours. As state continues to witness the rise of COVID-19 infections, government announces new rules on public gatherings. Gangai, biggest festival of Ziliarong community, begins. And Kachai Lewin farmers earning more than rupees 6 lakh as profit annually with assistance from MoMA. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.